Welcome Pisces to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 22nd of July for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. The week begins with a quite magical link between Neptune, your ruler, and the Sun. The Sun for the last four weeks has been in the fifth house. This is all about uh, showcasing the best of yourself and also the best of life. It's about uh, having pleasures and fun, but that link with Neptune, really quite delightful because if we go back to when the Sun first moved into Cancer, Neptune was actually in a square with the Sun, but also the full moon, the first of the two that we had in Capricorn. Of course, at the weekend we had the second. So how are things for you in terms of your plans or your connections to others? Because the Sun's wanting you to make sure you focus on yourself. The Moon's reminding you that there are other people in the equation. But Mars has moved at the end of last week too into the part of your chart to do with home, family and emotion. Now, if there are some physical tasks you want to catch up on, you know, whether it is some uh, refitting, uh, home decoration, changes to the garden, some carpentry, building work, perhaps even some do-it-yourself tasks, Mars here for the next six weeks can give you a furnace-like energy to crack on and get those tasks done. And what's going to help is the Sun's move into Leo later on Monday and collaborates brilliantly with Mars. So if there is anything about getting your domestic everyday world working more efficiently, that combination between the Sun and Mars gives you a lot of oomph. But of course, Mars also forges a link to Pluto in your 12th house. So there may be some very evocative energies that come up at the start of this week. You may feel hugely nostalgic. You may even be in the mood to reconnect to someone from your past. But the move of the sun into your sixth house clashes with Pluto in your twelfth. And it's important to understand that the sun moving into Leo does give you a chance to reform, work on health, fitness, diet, uh, your job, if that's something you're not particularly satisfied with. But Pluto's saying it's important to be mindful of your psychological motivations, what is priming up your decision making. So, for example, if you're thinking of leaving something, what's the deeper reason for that? What's the motive behind it? Now, Mercury is going to be important this week. It clashes with Uranus, creating a lot of tension. You could feel a bit on the edge. That will start to ease by Thursday when Mercury goes into your opposite sign. Then you can let go a little bit if someone sees something different to you. Things won't feel quite as brittle. And it's important to understand that people have a right to have a different viewpoint. You know, don't have to take that personally. There is the uh, retrograde of Chiron that begins on Friday through to the 29th of December. For you that's house two, very much about your self-worth, value and attitude to money. If you've got a very robust sense of yourself, perhaps the lesson that can be learned with Chiron's help through to then is how you approach people who are not so strong in that regard. And it's important to be respectful, even if people don't necessarily come up to our standards. If you're someone who tends to be a bit picky about that, perhaps that's where Chiron's calling out to you to work on yourself. However, if you are someone who feels that you could strengthen up your sense of worth, this is a big opportunity. Sunday sees a quarter moon in house three, clashing with the sun in house six. That virtue that's coming in and the desire to get things working as efficiently and smoothly as possible is going to be very strong this week. And Mars definitely in its peak with the sun on Friday gives you a lot of raw physical energy. But there's only so many uh, minutes in each hour and each hour of the day. Set yourself a reasonable schedule for this week, Pisces, because if you don't, by the end of the week, you could be feeling a bit ragged because you're trying to do too much. So one of the important things this week, I think, is to get busy around home and family uh, matters, but particularly if there are physical tasks you can clear up, do think about how you may 
uh, tighten up things around your diet and exercise routine. If you're not happy in your work, that's an area you can look at too. But I don't think this is the best of weeks to be wanting perfection or trying too hard to get everything exactly as you want too quickly. It's been great being with you, but if you would like to have a one-to-one -one with me, a personal consultation, please check out my testimonials below. I don't edit these. I share them as is. Discover what other people have found working with me. If you would like to become a patron from $3 a month, I upload a lot of extra information. If you are already a Patreon, thank you so much for all your support. And if you would like to ascend beyond this zodiac forecast and embrace the power of more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time, date and place, or date and place if you don't know your time, I can produce for you your life roadmap report. This will give you searing insights to the patterns that have played out in your life so far, but a much more intimate understanding of how to work with those energies future forwards. In my special package of 30% off, you can also get your 12 months transits, that's the moving planets in the sky, interacting with your totally unique blueprint. Also, if you know your tropical astrology, but you'd like to discover your draconic astrology based on your soul, your karmic, charts please see below for that too the same package it can be very very different to your natal chart but very much an eye opener have a great week thank you for joining me and goodbye